The business climate in Ukraine is very favorable. You can make money even with plywood. This statement was approved by a Ukrainian startup company, which has been producing mechanical wooden toys for two years. The toys are not simple, but are in a set of 3D puzzles. Just squeeze the wooden parts out of the constructor set out of the plywood and connect them according to the instructions with toothpicks that are included. We wanted to make them mechanical so they would have moving parts because there are a little constructor sets that have mechanics implemented, especially more complicated mechanics so that you can wind it up and it will move. Each model has a different assembly complexity level. Some of the models could be easily assembled by small children, while assembling others could prove difficult even for adults. The project was launched in July 2014. The idea was transformed several times. At first, those were puzzles, or 3D puzzles, as they are called these days. Then it was a project of creating part work. Then we had magazine collections. But over the course of our business, we came to the conclusion that our products are in the hobby segment. Our customers defined that by buying products that would occupy them with something useful in their spare time. It was the right decision because the hobby segment is growing rapidly around the world. People have more free time and they want to fill it with something exciting and unusual. So today our wooden mechanical constructors are exported to 26 countries. The United States, Canada and the European Union among them, Germany, France, Poland and the Netherlands in particular. This is our Ukrainian know-how. There are products with distant similarities, but only we work in such a format. The Chinese have something remotely similar, but it is static, not mechanical. But the British also have something, but those are not self-assembly models. They are sold ready-made, so only we produce self-assembly and mechanical models. As it turned out, wood is the best raw material for such puzzles, but wood requires special treatment. To simplify the production, polished plywood was chosen for the parts. Models designed for self-assembly and collecting do not require certification. As indicated on the package, we get certificates confirming the presence of the adhesive in plywood from producers. We buy a specific kind of plywood which contains specific adhesives. Then we get certificates from those that confirm that the glue is made in accordance with the SSU and that it is not poisonous. We are now conducting laboratory testing in EU laboratories. Even though legislation does not require a certificate, it is advisable to have laboratory testing protocols that prove that everything is fine, that it is safe to use in an office and residential buildings and so on. All parts are cut out with a laser. Thanks to high precision development, they can easily be transformed into working mechanisms. The Department of Quality Assurance monitors production quality. We check constructors for chips and plywood spoilage. In fact, there are many nuances, specifically so that the constructor could be assembled. We take out the parts or cut them out with a knife. We change the parts and put them back in to fit the color. All new models are tested. They are given to factory workers to try out to ensure that all instructions are clear. I myself have assembled everything we have made. I have gone all the way from assembling to carving. If it works after being assembled, that means that we can sell it. You do not have to be an engineer to assemble such a model. You do not need special tools or glue either. The mechanical puzzles are accurately cut and tested many times, so they are easy to assemble. The quality of production is watched rigorously. 
We take quality very seriously. Our partners abroad were pleasantly surprised that Ukraine can make a world quality product because there is a stereotypical thing about Ukraine that we export metal, wheat and sunflower oil in the best case. They are not ready to consider any more technology products from Ukraine. We pleasantly surprise our partners and consumers. The simplicity of their individual elements makes the assembly process of 3D models even more fun. For example, toothpicks are used as axles for gears. Mechanical components must be used to function in a certain way. It could be an unexpected motion that creates a wow effect. Then the customer looks at that and says it's cool that it could do that without a motor. There are currently about a dozen models of mechanical toys. Among them are tractors, combine harvesters, trains, tram, a mechanical theatre and others. But the most interesting thing is that all of them are functioning correctly after assembly. Doors and hatches open, wheels and gears spin and toys themselves move. That breaks stereotypes. Wooden toys should not be moving. But then you wind up a wooden tractor and it moves. People love our toys for that. Also, they are big. Mechanisms are small nowadays because it's more profitable to make small plastic ones. But ours are large. When multiple gears are spinning, you cannot take your eyes from them. It is fascinating. They try to understand how it all works and that it is why they like our toys. Оно завораживает. Мозг пытается собрать это все в кучу, как оно работает. Оно еще прозрачное. Вот за это люди любят. Tractors, combines and trams are set in motion by so-called rubber motors. Ordinary rubber bands are the driving force here. The cart holder opens, the fire truck's ladder extends, and the tower rotates, and the safe lock works like a real one. I have a friend in Norway who likes such things a lot. I gifted her a toy safe. When she comes to me, we assemble something all the time. So when she came to me not long ago, I gifted her the safe. I'm going to gift her a toy truck next time. I think she would find it interesting. Even though that particular model is not really for women, it's exciting. The process of assembly is very engaging. Those who like assembling something would like it a lot. It has long been considered that intellectual products bring the greatest profits. It is nice that there was a qualitative revolution in our country as well. We have a real intellectual component. There are four boards which are worth nothing, roughly speaking. Well, they are worth something, of course. Those are expensive, natural, high-quality materials, after all. But those are just boards. The lines on them make them into a product. I like to say that we write music on plywood. It is easy to inscribe it, but sometimes it takes months to make it work. Sometimes one mechanism requires a lot of time to perfect. During the work, the table gets filled with a variety of gears, axles and cogwheels. The creation of mechanical models out of plywood is a difficult path of trial and error. Computers don't help much with such work. The specificity of our work imposes restrictions because we make everything out of wood. Some things we have to invent from scratch. How to make a wooden bearing rotate, for example, that is difficult. So designers have to work on the development for several months. You make a small mistake and the mechanism stops working or parts fit but not perfectly. There are models that have not been released yet. We did not abandon those. We suspended them and we will return to them later. We invent new technologies within the company. That is, one designer came up with a certain connection, another one found the implementation for that, then that accumulated experience is implemented in other projects. There are no limits to this beauty, so the company has a designer who is responsible for beauty. Even the most complex models undergo refinement.
Yes, I make sure that our models have an aesthetic appearance and that all the lines are smooth, thin and beautiful, so that engraving would correspond to the model, so that people would find our toys aesthetically pleasing after assembling them. There were attempts to paint the gears. It turned out beautifully, but it did not become a trend. You never know what your customers would like. We did that for an exhibition, and people liked it. We even had an idea to sell our toys with paint, but then we decided that those who want can buy paint themselves. Ukrainian manufacturers decided to focus on wooden cogwheels, a constructor where the mechanism has become a part of the design, where you can see every gear rotate, has proved to be a feature in demand in the world market. We try to make mechanisms as open as possible. I call that steampunk fantasy. Our locomotive, for example, it is not realistic at all and it is full of holes, so that the gears could be seen. The locomotive itself and its gears take us to some other era. We take them as works of art, because they are not toy replicas. Sometimes we get asked where the locomotive's smokestack is, or criticized that it looks unrealistic, that it has to be covered with boards to look realistic. But we do not work in realism. There are realist artists and there are expressionist artists. Regard us as expressionists. We can make a plane that does not fly, but looks good when standing with air screws turning. We create art. Life becomes much more interesting and exciting if you allow yourself to play with toys, not only in childhood. We have a big team of amazing people. When something does not work, when it is hard to come up with a certain node or mechanical coupling, we convene, and with our joint efforts, we find a solution suitable for the case. There are hundreds of devices among potential models, mills, phonographs with wooden plates, music boxes, mechanical watches. The first mass production was around 2,000 units per month, so in a year and a half we had an increase of about 12 times. Now the company produces 25,000 constructor sets per month and it continues to ramp up the production because the demand is there. There were 12 machines when I came. After half a year, there were 30 of them. We are building a new shop that would house another 30 machines. And we have plans to expand and build two more shops. We have customers both abroad and here. But now we are focused on the external market. This is not surprising, because the external market is more valuable for us today. And given that we do not meet the demand, we are limiting the domestic market. But wood shape cutting is not a cheap process. Ultra precise lasers are used for the job. Usually startups use the American crowdfunding platform to obtain financing. Instead of $20,000 our company pledged for, they received more than 400,000. That is 20 times more than they asked us for. But most importantly, they managed to attract attention to the Ukrainian project. After all, the strategic task of our designers is to make the domestic brand recognized around the world.